Yeah, let's get started, right? Yeah, sure. We can start. Yeah. So, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. So, yesterday I have completed the ES6 part, right? Some basic concept of ES6 that is, list, const, objects, arrays. And uh, have you uh, gone through that? Means I al already shared that uh, files folders and that code base. Hello. Yes, Kaushik. Yeah. So, uh, do you have, uh, feel any problem or any understanding regarding that? Anyway. No, nothing from my side, Kaushik. Okay. So, ES six module we have completed. Today we are going to start about that some basic concept of React. So before in uh, that, what is React or what is the advantage of React? Why we should have React, right? So please share your uh, some knowledge or about the React. What about the React base? Can anyone tell? The library. Yes, yes. And more. Module wise differentiation with the concept of virtual DOM. Yes. So what is the difference between module a uh, library and framework? Can anyone tell why React is library and Angular is framework? Library like we can add library in a single HTML kind of thing, but for a framework, we need a proper structure. Like for Angular, we need to install the entire uh, thing, but for React, we can just add this library uh, 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 path in a particular HTML kind of pages. Yes, so advantage of library is that you can reusability of a function, right? So that can be referred to within the code. We can say that, right? And using the help of library, it will also improve the performance of a program. Anyone, any suggestion about that? Could you please repeat once? So I'm asking that what is the difference between library and framework? Anyone any idea? Like uh, what I think uh, both are having the advantage of reusability. Like mm -hmm. uh, framework basically gives you the structure. So yeah. whatever, yeah, it is, you don't have to write the whole code. So it gives a skeleton of uh, like how the application will work. Yes, yeah, so we can infer that framework provides the structure and library provides the reusability collection of function modules, all that thing, right? So from the library, we can create framework, right? We can say. From library, we can create a yeah, framework. Framework, right? Is the statement is true or false? Means if we have library, so we can create framework. Yeah, seems so. So that's why React is very popular. Okay. So everyone already knows that ReactJS is a library, the open source library, right? So using ReactJS, that is many advantages, right? Their community is very great, biggest community in the world. If you stuck any problem, if you add any, uh, require any help, so you can only post in the community or many different posts you can add it from the ReactJS community so it's a open source library for what for using the user interface and its ecosystem is very rich rich ecosystem can anyone tell me that uh, who has created that react facebook facebook right facebook who's a uh, guy means can you tell me the name jordan and facebook has created Jordan was a software engineer at Facebook who released an early prototype of React that is called FactJS. FactJS first was implemented, introduced. And then 
with the help of your extensibility that first it was deployed on facebook news feed in 2011 and later 2012 it was in the instagram but open source js it is 2013 so to react js invented and introduced by the facebook so now we have to understood that um, what react js is popular that I am also telling that, but what others, what Walt is told us, right? Why ReactJS is very popular and can we compare the React and Angular? I'm sharing my screen. To go this website. Compare. You are seeing, and that is the data of India. If you will change as a worldwide, the last 12 months data, right? Still, the graph of ReactJS has increased. And which country, which region they have used, the, all information you will get from the trains.google.com. This is the place you can get that any you can add one of them right view js right can i still so react js popularity is increasing day by day because its syntax is very easy it is uh we can use it from the front end side as well as you can say that from the back end side we can create the react js applications and very easy way. there are so many things also be there like a dom components that will come but today i just want to show some react js basic structure of coding how we can implement the code there is no, I'm not going to install any node models, any NPM, just normal HTML. In the HTML page, we can be going to write that ReactJS code and how it has been uh, showing that in the browser that we will show. But the editor, which editor we will use? There are many editors. First, if you will, React.new. Online editors, right? All right. Here you can write your code. You no need to set up any single line of installation code. It is already there. And you have to create your own React framework. You can use W3 school space. Also online. Anything you can write. We can use that ripple. Here you can write the ReactJS code. You can use that blaze. So sign in and then you can use that platform so there is multiple platforms online platforms and also we can use that create the element coding and then some people line up node models code. today i'm not going to talking about the node models or any other things 
first we have to understood that if i have to work with the react and the html then how we can do that is there any questions regarding that no okay perfect so first i'll that is your html page single html page okay i'm going to add react code over here but this is the library you have to add your html first is react development.js this all are core modules react code modules this library used for the react dom react and react dom that will means the, the structure of coding that will discuss later but first in the html page the react how it works that we have to add here that how to write the code the component function everything and that is your babel stand there so babel in a one liner we can say that is a transpiler compiler from any typescript code to javascript in the browser because browser only understand that javascript and css and html so these three libraries are important you have to add and this is my dyd root in that root if you see that normal architecture right node modules anything so i'll also showing that only d by d root also be there and we have to add every each and every element into the root as per view so first i can write the code that is hello world or any kind of thing creating the react element We have dot create element. And add some color. No, no. normal even I can say. then come on whatever I got from that heading that if uh, the real dot create element h1 color I have to add in the root because root is the view where everything will be added. Inside the root, I can the target ID is the root. I have to add the root. The React DOM dot render then document what I will write document dot element. is small element by ID. I will add in the root. Run. 
you can see the hello world is printed in the page if you will debug so inside the root the and each one tag has been created right you can provide any kind of name Let's do one thing. I have to create another element inside that H1 tag, nested element. So let nested element is equal to tag dot get element. Same thing I will add. And I will add in the span. Span comma style. We'll add the color that is red. Okay. I want to add something in a text or in name. Okay. And just put it inside that. If you debug this thing, created the span element. Or same thing, instead of I can add this thing here also. So this is my root or dyd root element by id. I can add this. Only three line of script. If I will remove these two lines, right? It will not work. Because this is a code library. You have to add it. Otherwise, it can the tag react DOM, it cannot be identified. It's showing error. React is not defined. It cannot understand what is React on the HTML side. So it's not needed all the time. We have to install React from the node module. This is node modules we can install because the reusability and it is decoupled the architecture in a separate format and we can add these things. But also we have to know first before going to the node modules or NPM, whatever. We have to discuss this thing, but how React code is looking in the HTML. Everything, component, loops, or uh, props, everything we can work over here. Yeah. Next item. I
any name you can say Another example. Dom dot in the eight one element. I have to print that. It means one thing that is document dot get element by height. This is good. Yeah. So if you want to print this thing inside the URL element, so this is the string interpolation and the curly braces you can add this thing. We will add name. It's a text, the value we cannot incur. But if we, in the string interpolate, add this value, so we'll add this one. Another thing is also required name dot length, character length. Yes, so you also add the JavaScript functionality over here. Like, like name dot two uppercase. It also be done. Right. This one, the work is also done. Something there is no next special name dot in lower case. What is that? Is very even or don't so. We can also print uh, and also calculate the also run the JavaScript function into the there in the normal HTML file. And this one type of example. Next example is so. Normal, I'll create some component. So component as a as as of now, it's a separate module or separate. We can say that HTML is there. We can create this thing and we can run it together in the React file. So remove this thing. Uh, 
Simple, create some function. JavaScript function. So I will create one function that is header function mean will. Now, if I will run this react tom dot render, and then add two things like your header. Like your main okay. document dot get element by ID. Look. Run it. Unexpected. The semicolon is optional. Which semicolon? This is after writing the function. Oh, it's this one, right? Yeah, after closing this. No, no. Not that for the function, function this dictionary. Showing that unexpected this line, right? Line number 32. Okay, uh, don't we have to add any kind of string literals here? I mean, uh, is this a ID specific or something? No, I just added any. You can say right this, right? Means string interpolation. No, no, I'm asking for string, uh, string literals. The inverted comma kind of things for this one, uh, this one right yes uh, from uh, i mean mm. now like inside the return the entire header section i actually mm. asked uh, previously also because uh, above also you didn't uh, write in that particular syntax like 
inside the string literals of the uh, so header inside the header i just pass the h1 tag right mm -hmm. pass that some kind i think this is extra something okay i will remove this thing just a moment maybe the arrow function uh, header uh, is it an arrow function not in the simple function no 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 there is no meaning you write the simple function right i think oh, that is required i on a minute Table and table syntax you have to add. Just a minute. Return. Return. One thing, the function I will remove first. Only I do the header. I will do the JavaScript. Done it. Yes, const uh, header and uh, please try the arrow function. Everything right like that, right? No, no, that is normal function also we work. The block that we have written inside return statement, so that should be in a uh, string. This one? Yeah, because it is showing a uh, token uh, less than sign is there na, at line number 32. So something uh, is wrong. It's, there. A, it's a just tag, right? Header tag. I will remove this one, right? Simple written H1. Yes, okay. Could you return any string here? Yeah. Yes, yes. Just remove the tag. Just remove the tag. Oh Just understand if it's string working or not. Just a minute, I will open it. I have created this thing earlier. Just one minute. Mm, maybe the comma is shown on line number one minute. I will open it. Same thing I will create earlier. 
to run this thing. I don't know. You can see. Yeah. I think the semicolon issue is after render. No, actually, there is a the type is not Babel. No, no, type Babel, type JavaScript also works. No, I guess not. No, it should be there. No, Babel, that time I also added in the Babel time. Now, if I will do this thing, instead of app, we can, you can see that in, inside the app, I added this component. Na? So, I will create the main differently. I will add, and that is your header so only header will be added at a time one so that's why I have created the app folder inside the app we can add multiple components so app I will add. So see what you ask? Can you please tell me? What is your question? No? Mm, actually that uh, uh, that particular screen actually you just uh, removed the previous examples. I have to add in the other variable or remove. Thing in the plus and you write. Uh, uh, no, that uh, that that is now clear because uh, without uh, main issue was that the Babel, I think that the interpolation that this is kind of a function and component, right? Mm -hmm. So in the JavaScript, it cannot understood. So that's why this library is required. Babel main dot js, and then I added this thing, and inside the function, I can add. And same thing in the React component, whenever you install React to the Node module, same architecture we have followed, huh? And and if we will add another function, we can also add this thing. But one more thing that is also we have to remember. Just do experiment that if I will create the header in the small line, small the first syntax is small. Okay, can we render? So try to. Mm, you can see it cannot be identified. No? header header first. Okay. Element to do the okay. Uh, in previous one of the example, you uh, write that the create element. Uh, so yeah. each for each and every element, we need to write that line. I mean, uh, react. And yes, that element. is if you want to create that. Uh, that is your yes five syntax, right? React dot create mm -hmm. element. So mm -hmm. it's a JavaScript syntax. So it's I mean, not possible to every time we can remember this thing. This is a big. Very big sentence, no? the add dot create element, add the name, and if you nested the element, style, make color, each and everything you have to elaborate over there. No? Mm -hmm. So that's why we have created this, this kind of thing. So here you have to just create the function com compute uh, as a component, and then we can create the element. Same thing here, you just uh, inspect the element. Same thing is there, no? There is no yes. difference. Yeah. Now do one thing. I will create that is props. I will pass something from one component that is function and render in the other. So, you have written three functions here. So all three yes. functions are component, or how is it? Yes. Mean means because one minute. It's a component. It's also component, and I uh, 
it cannot be possible to render this thing na we should need some wrapper so inside the wrapper that is our div if you can see that you can do this thing also instead of app i will take header right header is perfectly showing if i will take main Okay, we I think we can wrap in uh, yes. React Dog. Yes, yes. No, no. If you, you can see that, if I will add any uh, the component one by one, it cannot be rendered, right? So mm -hmm. we have to nest it in one div or fragment. Yes. So in the div, same thing. Whatever I create in the app, same thing I'll do in the place in the div. In run. So we no need to. Write this one, but when your structure of coding is increased, you cannot maintain the code, right? So that's why we have created one function in the wrapper, and this wrapper will add. Now, next syntax or example that is for your props means props is as an argument or as a properties as a, I can pass from one component to other component and that will be better so see next uh, that is I'll do one thing, I'll create other function on the footer. It will work. I think not, right? We can. Copyright. You don't do one thing because then add So it's a header, it's a content, it's a footer. Normal HTML and JavaScript. There is no any there. Now I will do one thing. I will pass some props properties. Normally we, in the function we all are know, right? We can pass some argument. That is my name. I will pass. And then what I will do? In the header I will go and props in the props what i will do instead of this text this is a hard coded i am not sending anything from that main component or app component as a props remove props dot name name means what Whatever props name you have passed, if it is now run it. Astrometer. So props dot what I will write here. What props I will pass. So if I will pass cozy. And I will pass cozy. So any Props name we can pass from here. So, let's come. Next, same one we can do passing other props. 
Ini nih bukan itu. Um, um, And then I will do one thing. It works. Dot. I hope it will render. Yes. Now in the footer, different kind of block size. Then what is here? Typical to new date. This is JavaScript function. Oh, yeah. Spring, Julian, any uh, JavaScript function, anything you can pass over here. Get. Yeah. What I will do? Yeah, if I will pass and then try to run it. Yes, so it's called a props destructuring. So instead of props, the object the value you can pass. And same thing you can pass over here. So we can get the value. So can we pass multiple props? Try. So here I will do one thing. So instead of props, I will pass those and then that h to tag, h to tag, and do render. So understood the concept, right? How it will the prop the value is coming. From main component to other component, I can pass multiple things. Now, going to going forward, other example that is so that is object mapping. How can I map the objects? and display so I'll do one thing I'll create one const this one in the array javascript Now, in the main value, I will pass this guy. Okay. So, I will pass. And main value, I will pass that. Props and there are three things right inside that three elements in the array three of JavaScript Angular React. So we have to make some for loops, otherwise, it cannot be iterated. Inside the main, what I will write, uh, Is props dot array 
डॉट मैप फिर से ये सिक्स इंडेक्स मैप दें एल पास पन एलाइन I think this is my not L, sorry. And it yeah. You can see that with the help of map function, we can create three elements. And we have to set some key value, and that is equal to map dot random. We add it. What key we will use? Oh. But if I will not add key, there is no any syntax error there showing. Yes, a key property of the right. That's why I manage the key of key method. Page is rendered, HTML element or JavaScript, whatever is rendered, but we have to add the key for it. So, declaring the dynamic element so that is map dot random. The unique identifier. No error is done. There is no error. If if you not provided the key, still your element will render in the page. But as per dynamic and that uh, key interference, we have to add this value. Key properties. Any questions? Yeah, hi, Kosik. Yes. <coughs> Uh, here uh, can be used uh, for each loop of JavaScript uh, instead of map. map. Mm, yes. Okay, okay. So I have that uh, example also. I will send you in the code base, right? In the code base, every example is there. Okay. And you, you can try. If you not found, you can reach out to me, okay? Okay. If okay. it's a JavaScript syntax, everything is working, no? So for each also works. You see, iterator, we can add this value and we can do that, right? Okay. Thank you. Hmm. One thing that is. And so. So, do one thing. We create const array. Not one thing. Const. I will create the follow pair and then pass this thing. Instead of this value, when I have created the props, whatever value, I am creating this thing here. So const array object. Equal to array dot map. It's comma I. Uh, 
पास आई डी आई जीरो दिस एरे ऑब्जेक्ट ऑयल पास इंस्टेड ऑफ अरे अंदर अरे ऑफ अंदर Rocks. Hello. Key. I will pass identifier instead of map dot random. Here I will pass h dot id. I have different id. And then what type? Now we what we do console dot log box. What is log box? Box. Box. Then also give the value, the concept. Any questions? No. So okay. So uh, that for the today. And uh, that code base, whatever is there, I will upload in the drive. Okay. Then day two, uh, you will follow day two code base. Okay. I have created many things. Uh, also that I will add in a file. Any question? Anything? Tomorrow we will go um, and uh, node base by uh, functional component or React how to install from the node modules. That will see tomorrow. Okay. Ah uh, yes. So uh, React uses the node runtime only. So it's I'm not using any node JS, right? You can see. So in the HTML file, I will add the React. So instead of node modules, you can also create these things. If you have an HTML file, na, you know HTML file, you can create. You just uh, three main libraries are required. Hmm. Same thing. Whatever you install from the node, node is internally called this thing because in the browser you can only understood that. JavaScript mode, the scripting, right? So if I add the node modules, that React, what will write in the node, in the React, that is this kind of sentence, right? Import React. Basically, it will, and we'll add the Babel or transpiler. It will convert the syntax with this part. Okay. Okay. 
So you can also do it from the Node.js. You can instead of Node.js, if you want to create your standalone version, right? So you can do that. So I am writing in the HTML file. There is I not added any node models or anything. You cannot add right now. Google HTML. Okay, then to that up. Any questions or you can ask me. We can include this session. Thanks, Kaushik. Yes. And uh, you just follow the uh, day to drive, okay? In the drive, I will upload the code base. Sure. The code base and tomorrow I will add in a node module and the React of how that we, as you can see, the React here. Hmm. Okay. Then we will go to the end of the session. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank